girl Trish. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, we do all things beauty and lifestyle here on this channel. So if those things interest you, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. So we're going to get right into this video, you guys. So this video is just a collective perfume haul, you guys. You know, I've been hell bent on burp building my little collection and it's been a little like obsession these days honestly so i just want to go ahead and get into some of these fragrances that i bought recently you guys um so yes so before we get into this video i do want to go ahead and get this part done this part of the video is actually in collaboration with dossier they were kind enough to send me two um new two fragrances um so yes, I wanted to go ahead and talk about those really quick before I get into this haul. And here I have is Gourmand White Flowers. Um, this one is inspired by Victor and Rolf um, Flower Bomb. And before I get into the notes, I'll just I'll go ahead and get this out the way. Dossier is a company that um, that sells quality affordable fragrances, um, dupe for some of your um, perfume houses. Um, that some of um do for some of your favorite um uh perfume brands and some of your favorite perfumes in general um and some of these dupes are like spot on or some of them are even better because i do already i do already own some of them some of the um the perfumes um you can't go wrong with them like i said they're affordable um they're long lasting on the skin i get whenever i wear them um it, it gets hours of wears out of them i do like to layer my stuff or uh, whatever which you know amps it up a little bit more but they're outstanding by themselves so like i said the first one i have is a gourmand this is what the box looks like when you get a dossier perfume uh, and this is the bottle right here it's really simple sleek and classy um this one like i said this one has notes of bergamot green tea freezer berries middle notes of white flowers orchid and rose base notes of musk patchouli caramel and vanilla this one smells really really good it's a warm floral um, I don't own Victor and Roll Flower Bomb, but I have smelled it before and it smells um, pretty close to it. I do eventually want to get Flower Bomb though. So yes, this is White Flowers. And the next one here, I cannot wait to open it you guys. This one here is the infamous Amberry Saffron. It's a dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540. You guys, um, you girls have been going crazy over Baccarat Rouge. I don't own Baccarat Rouge, so I was happy to, um, pick this one out to try for you guys um this is what the bottle looks like um this one has notes of top notes of saffron and orange blossom middle notes of jasmine plum seed and cedarwood and then base notes of oak moss fir blossom and, am and amber the um baccarat this um amber saffron is really it's a fruity floral it's a fruity floral. It's more floral than fruity, but it smells really, really good. You can't go wrong. If you don't want to, you know, spend the two, I think almost 240, 235 for Baccarat Rouge, you can definitely get away with getting Ambery Saffron. It smells just as good. I have smelled, but I smelled Baccarat Rouge. It smells really, really good. Am I going to get it? I'm not sure yet because I have this one. I really do like this one. So if you want to save a coin or two, definitely pick up Ambery Saffron. And the concentration on these perfumes are really really good just wanted to throw that out there so yeah that's it for um that's it for dossier i'm going to go ahead and get into the perfumes that i picked up recently because i don't want this video to be too too long but starting out i guess i can start off with the bang um i went ahead i went to nordstrom you guys i had got paid and i was like you know i'm going to treat myself today y'all and I said, you know what? I'm just going to give me some MFK perfumes. I'm not going to butcher his name, so we're going to just say MFK. So I picked up two MFK perfumes, you guys. I picked up two. I spent a little bag on these perfumes, but it was so worth the coin. I love these perfumes. So the first one I got here is <coughs> Gentle Fluity Gold. This one, you guys, smells like heaven. It smells so good. It's warm. It's sweet. It's comforting. Is light but it's still long lasting you guys it smells so good i love how like luxurious the bottle look too it's just it smells so good you guys there they also have the silver i smelled that one but i i go the gold is where it's at for me i love this one here and then the next one i have here first thing this is what the box the box looks like the box itself is giving like it just it's really really pretty 
has this gold at the top. Actually, the perfume actually comes in this box on the inside here. So yeah. But we're gonna get into the next one. The next one I have here is Feminine Plural. This one is really, really pretty and fresh and floral. I love this one here. Um, it smells really, really good. Let me give you guys these notes um, before I get too carried away with all these other perfumes. This one here is actually, this, uh, the Gentle Fluity Gold is an amber vanilla scent. Um, like I said, it smells really, really good. It's really, really warm. So if you like, you know, your amber and vanilla scents, you'll, you'll love this one here. Okay, so Feminine Plurel has notes of Iris, Rose, Violet, Lilith the Violet, Vetiver, Indonesian Patachui, Leaf, Orange Blossom, and Jasmine. Like I said, it's super pretty. It's floral, it's fresh. You can't go wrong with it. And it, the, like, the longevity on this one is just so good. If you want to smell like a classy woman, a pretty woman, this is it. She's really, really pretty. And I love the rose gold color of the liquid in the bottle. Like, it's just so cute. So now we're going to get into my other perfumes, the other perfumes that I bought. The next one I have here is Burberry Her. Um, I had to get this one. This one is so good, you guys. I love this perfume. Um, this is the bottle right here. And this is the 3.3 ounce. I was not playing. I was not playing. No games. Um, this one has... This one have notes of dark berries, jasmine, and musk amber. Um, the bottle is so cute. This scent is a fruity, like a, a gourmand a fruity scent. It's so, so pretty. Um, it's long lasting. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. And I know it's going to pair well with so many different, uh, like just different fragrance mists um other perfumes like this is going to be it's going to pair so well with other um fragrances this smells so good and i love the bottle and then the next one i have here is another burberry perfume i actually pur purchased this one off of um I, I purchased it off of rebel i do like to go on rebel and get some uh, some scents at a you know at a discounted price I picked up her London. I really, I smelled this one in Sephora and I was blown away. It smells so good. This one is a, um, it's a fruity floral as well, but it, this one gives me more fresh vibes than Burberry Her. Um, this one has notes of lemon, rose, and musk. Love the bottle. This one has more of like an amber color, amber brown tone color to it. It's so pretty. And then... Like I said, this one gives me more fresh vibes, but I do get, I do pick up on the fruity, but it's more fresh in my opinion. Smells really, really good, you guys. The perfume I have here is from Kayali. I didn't own any Kayali scents, and I wanted this a few that I have my eye on, but I just got one for now. I bought the infamous Vanilla 28. Look at this bottle, y'all. This bottle is giving. Like, I, ugh. It's so, and I love the brown color. Anyways, I had bought like the small little 10 ml bottle just to try it out to see like how like it really smelled because you hear all this hype, but I didn't know what it smelled like. So, you know, I got the little body and I was obsessed right away. I was like, you know what? I have to get the bottle. I have to get it. This is the 80 ml. I didn't get the 100. I did purchase this directly off of the website. I did not get this from Sephora. I got it right off the website. Um this smells so good you guys if you love your sweet vanilla scents but still want to smell grown and grown like a woman this is it this one has notes of vanilla orchids tonka absolute and amber woods it smells so good it's very it's really strong on the uh vanilla but you still get that tonka and you still get the amber in it it's just a beautiful vanilla scent you guys you cannot go wrong i see why a lot of people talk about this one it smells so good and this is the beautiful box that it comes in getting down to my last three um fragrances the next scent that i picked up here the next scent i picked up here is prada candy kiss i do love prada candy and i own that one i wanted to get this, the new the notes on this one was so intriguing for me and i had to get it and I, i'm so glad that i got it because I, I really really love the way this smells this one has notes of musk orange blossom and suave vanilla like the name says it all candy kiss like it's 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 sweet but you still get that must note in this perfume it smells really really good um this is what the bottle looks like and i did get this one off of rebel as well i bought this one in london dream together so cute and the good thing about rebel there's always a coupon code to use you can you already favor it and then you have a coupon code you can't go wrong with it you cannot go wrong with it 
The next perfume I got here is from Seven uh, Seven Virtues. It's supposed to be two, but they take it forever to ship my other one, y'all. Like, I bought it directly from the website, and I did not know that the headquarters was in Canada. So that's my fault on that one. I should have just ordered from the Sephora website, but it's all good. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys the one that I got, and it's Satil Vanilla. The other one I got was Vanilla Woods. Um, so this is Satel Vanilla. This one is more of like a minty, like, type of aromatherapy, like, vanilla um vibes um this one has notes of myrrh vanilla and sandalwood this one it says this one's a woody um a woody spice fragrance uh like i said this one gives me very much like aromatherapy um smells really really good this will be like a perfect bedtime scent for me or just to lounge around the house and i love the bottle super super classy and cute and then i, I didn't keep the box for this one i did throw this one away and then the last scent I got here is actually a perfume that I picked up from in Ross. I do like to go to Ross sometimes and see what they got, have. Um, all right, y'all. So the last perfume I have to show you guys that I got from Ross is Extraordinary Petal or Petal by Oscar De La Renta. The bottle, this is what the bottle looks like. It's so cute, you guys. It's this pinkish purple um, color. Super, super cute. Um, I figure I'll go ahead and pick this one up after reading the notes. Every time I go to Ross and I see like a perfume, I always go and look for the notes. This one has top notes of champagne, bergamot, and mandarin orange. And then it has middle notes of orange blossom, jasmine, and rose. And then base notes of vanilla, orchid, musk, and amber. This one is a fruity floral. Um, it smells really, really good. I cannot wait to pair this with some scents and where it smells It smells so good, you guys. It smells really, really good. Um, if you see it in Ross, definitely pick it up if you like fruity full scents. So, that is it for this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Please let me know down in the comments some of your favorite perfumes or some recent perfume purchases you've made lately. Um, I will see you guys in the next video.